is David Reese in conversation with Drew. Please give it up for them. Each other. I think that we met on Joko Cruise Crazy 2, back when it was called Joko Cruise Crazy. Yeah. Right, there's been a rebranding in the years yeah. since we first met. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and our friendship has survived the rebranding, I think. That's and a the sign of a real friendship is when it can survive a rebranding. <laughs> Drew, let's begin by having you explain yourself to this audience. Oh, okay, so with an easy question. Okay. Um, my name, my name's Drew, and I, uh, in conjunction with Jonathan, Paul, and Storm, I'm one of the owners and operators of this Joko Cruise thing. Uh, hi. Um, and uh, because I'm a not fam not famous, and uh, started doing this as a 23 year old assistant to Jonathan Colton, I um, handle all the details. What is the most interesting detail you have ever handled? Answer A, vis-a-vis -vis this cruise. Answer B, vis-a-vis -vis your entire life. Most interesting detail you have ever handled. And every audience yeah. member must also think of their answer to that question because we might do yeah, that's a, that's spontaneous a, audience interrogation. That's harder than the first question, right. actually. Um, let's see, most interesting cruise detail. Well, so it turns out that, and this is not a detail directly related to the Joko cruise, but there are a lot of weird charters out there. Um, including a swingers charter. Yes, um, I heard about this. Yeah, and, uh, people know what a what a swinger is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll be that. And whenever you ask the crew about it, they'll, their eyes will point to the floor, and then just be like, "I've seen things." Um, but we apparently one of the terms of the contract for that swingers charter was that they had to remove and store below decks every single mattress on the ship um, and bring on uh, their own. Wait, this is BYON? This yeah. cruise? BYON. Not, not, the guests did not BYON. Oh, the, charter, the charter themselves uh, arranged for uh, additional costs to provide mattresses. And what happened with those mattresses at the conclusion of the cruise? I can only imagine that they... Viking mattress funeral? I think that there are a few dead dolphins underneath a bunch of mattresses. I will brook no report concerning the death of sea mammals. Not on my stage. Speaking of sea mammals, and I just remember this, round of applause, did anybody see the whale today? Breaching over the water was incredible. Did you see that? I did not see the whale. Was really I saw the pork paper officer. What's, what's his or her deal? Uh, his name's Risky. And everyone makes the joke you would expect. Wait, is that his nickname or his... Yeah, his Christian real name, name. See, his real name's Risky. He's, you know, from... Actually, I don't know where he's from. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and now you've done a marvelous... A marvelous job, Drew, as per our relationship, avoiding the tough question, what is the most interesting detail <laughs> you have ever... I can't remember the verb I used. Handle. Handle. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your close attention. What is the most interesting detail you have ever handled in your own life? I mean, that's just such a broad question, dude. It's an incredibly I, specific question, dude. Yeah. Well, but my entire life is broad, and there have been, you know, numerous details. Okay, what is the most... Okay, 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 okay. Oh, and also the only, the only answers I can think of are kind of, kind of dirty. I don't know if I can... Well, this is not... No, no, actually, no. No. I got crazy enough talking about everyone bringing on their own mattresses. I know, that, 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 this is where my mind goes when I'm left to my own devices. What's the most interesting clothing-related detail you have ever handled in your own life this evening's outfit notwithstanding? <laughs> so what? <laughs> and also, group for real, just stand up and do the prompt, yeah. Oh, that shoulders back. <laughs> you guys all remember when President George W. Bush landed on that aircraft carrier, right? For mission mission accomplished. accomplished. Right, exactly. Mission accomplished, right. Thank you. Uh, okay, so you don't want to answer this Most question. Most of clothing-related detail you want? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess I, I bought an entirely new wardrobe in one in one one day with my mother. Uh, I lost eighty pounds in high school. Oh, they're gonna say you lost eighty pounds that day. <laughs> no, no, that, but in three months. Really? Yeah. So you needed all new clothes. I needed all new clothes. Where did you go to get these new clothes? My mom took me to Nordstrom's, and we oh, got some must be person nice. to help us. Where did you grow up? Upper East Side? I grew up in uh, in Ojai, California. Sunny Ojai Valley, California. All right, Drew. You know, it was kind of like it was mostly just like half abandoned storefronts and dream catchers when I was growing up there. Yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, it was real hard scrabble, proletariat, authentic uh, neighborhood. I get it. I'm a man of the people. Yeah, you lost eighty. You lost eighty pounds working at the steel mill. Well, I was I was cast as yourself through high school in Oahu, California. Yeah, I was cast as Danny in Greece, and I really wanted to impress my drama teacher. And one point of order: that town is so fancy that Ojai doesn't even have an H in it. It's like Indeed. that, right? Oh, yeah. Drew, one question for you to ponder. This is a question that my friends and I were discussing as we were driving to a sound bath the other night. Has anyone here ever had a good old-fashioned New Age sound bath? I went to a nude gong bath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. All the gongs were nude? Dude, it was X-rated gong action, yeah. Where was it? Um, it was in, uh, like, some, you know... It was at like, the Union, the Union Steward Shop in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know those, like, rental studios where you can rehearse? It was, like, in a big one of those in Brooklyn. What neighborhood? I think, I think it was, like, Williamsburg-ish. All right. Yeah. Uh, without getting too explicit... <laughs> All right. <laughs> While getting expli as explicit as possible... <laughs> Purity and interest of these sex maniacs. What was the most interesting detail you handled at the nude gong bath? I mean, I reflected again on the thing about nudists, which is that it, it's so often not exactly the demo you would hope would be nudists. Shout out to HBO Real Sex. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then one always hangs lower than the other, I guess. Right. So you're talking about the gongs, of course, right? Yeah, yeah. The, they had, they had, the gongs were tuned to different astrological frequencies, obviously. As, as, so, as so many of our elements are. Uh, okay. <laughs> On my way to my fully clothed, properly uh, uptight sound bath with my old childhood friends, we found ourselves pondering this question, Drew, and it's a question I pose to you now, and I also I'll pose to everyone in the audience tonight, and if any of you come up with an answer that you feel confident about, I invite you to seek me out in public and tell me what you think the answer is. Drew, do you think in uh, the United States of America there are more traffic cones or television sets? Television sets. Really? Why? Explain your reasoning. Because we're a bunch of fat pigs. And we love our TVs. Yeah, but, okay, so we were talking about this. Yeah, you were doing a consulting interview? I know, this is kind of, this is the kind of, I'm not in the tech world, so correct well, me Well, especially when you consider the number in the, in dumpsters, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, yeah, but how many, how many exactly roads what, per house? That's exactly what Mike was saying. And how many Drive roads were in a house? But and dude, they, imagine they the extra cones and they take them to the cone depot. Like, they, you know, it's just it's not like there's enough cones to line all the roads. Yeah, but you know somewhere in some Midwestern state, there's some warehouse where the guy's like, oh yeah, your buddy thought there were more TVs? Uh-huh, I've been working highway construction for 45 years. Boom, there's 50,000 cones, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, cones add up. Right, well, but yeah, so do television. I mean, the average house, it's they different, got all though. those little TVs and like every the bathroom of every bar. But I'm not just talking about the cones that are shaped like a cone. I'm also talking about those weird cones that aren't stu the stubby R2D2 looking ones. You know what I'm talking about? You mean like the little stand? The barrel. Yeah, those barrels. Cones. Yeah, <laughs> like the barrels that are filled with water for collision barrel things, or not the barricades. Okay, I'm talking cones and barrels. Barrels and cones. Yeah, barrels That's and all cones. I need. Well, to... okay. First of all, not in the original question, so I'm gonna say that if I'm wrong because of the barrels, I don't think that counts. Do you want to change your answer? I'll still no, though. 
I really think it's TVs. TVs. It's TVs. Anyone, all right, round of applause. And remember, cones means cones and barrels. Round of applause, who thinks there's more cones? Round of applause, who thinks there's more televisions? Come out of here. Fuck you all, good night. TVs. Like, like for sure. Dad is so smart, and then he's got that haircut. So you give him a lot of leeway. But that is wrong. It's not, there's no chance it's comes. 